So now, you know. where did you start though? Before Fox and Friends, before Howard Stern, before Craig Ferguson, where did you start? Well, you and I sort of started around the same time, I think, doing our respective shows because I started in local TV. Like local TV is my my heart. I mean, I, I love what you guys are doing here. By the way, this this is so cool. I was so excited to be here and do this. Thank you. Truly, because. You know, I grew up in Cleveland, and as a kid, I would watch a lot of the late night monster movie shows. Mm. And we had at one time like seven or eight hosts. We had, you know, Big Chuck and Little John, Big Chuck and Houlihan. We had a Gilardi in the 60s, The Ghoul, Son of Ghoul. There were a lot of variations on The Ghoul. Uh, <laughs> Super Host, uh, Frank and Drac, you know. And there's something about local TV that is so special and so magical, and I think really embraces what television is, like the best of television, you know. And, I, and we don't see it enough. And uh, I started out in public access uh, in, in, uh, in California called Chino, California, hmm. you know, right near the men's prison. <laughs> uh, I, wasn't in, I wasn't in the men's prison, but it's nearby. Right. And uh, for about 10 years, right. I did um, my own variety shows. I did my own late night talk show. I did my own uh, horror movie show. Wow. So I was about 97, 98. And yeah, I think it was about, about when you started. started. Yeah. And um, it's just something you had, you know, I just... You, you, we didn't do it for views. We didn't do it for likes because there was no social media at that time, right. you know. And it was just because it was something you loved to do. And I think I still tell young people that want to get into this that just make sure you do it for that reason first and foremost. Because mm -hmm. if you love it, it doesn't matter if there's like three people watching. It's it's just about doing it and making it. In fact, we never knew who was watching our shows, um, and that led to the Late Late Show when when I was doing one of my shows. It was a televangelist character. It was a show called The Holiness Half Hour of Power, and I would take phone calls. I can't repeat most of the material here tonight, but it was very fun, and um, one of the Late Late Show writers was uh, hanging out with a buddy, uh, imbibing some substances, and they, um, <laughs> and they saw me, and uh, he emailed me and said, you know, do you want to come do some stuff on our show? So that's how it started. That's amazing. So you never know. You never know. You never know. You never know. You never know.